Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. In today's video, we're gonna see how many trophies we can get within one hour of trophy pushing. So let's jump right into this. So the plan is simple. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna trophy push with our hog rider attack strategy, which I will link down below if you wanna use this attack strategy with me, the trophy push. We're gonna use the attack strategy and try to push for as many trophies as we can get within one hour. Now I did activate a training potion so that way we get the most out of our training and that way we can push even faster. So let's get right into this. So I bought a CC of headhunters that way if we have to deal with the heroes being inside the base we can take them out much more easily and on top of that we can get rid of the cc with our hog riders and baby dragons let them on out so like i'm gonna show you here as an example i'm gonna drop in one hog rider which will target that of course wizard tower which will out the cc which is a golem so i'm not really too worried about a golem but since it does have crash damage not crash damage damage after death it will do a lot of damage off of that so i want to get rid of that as soon as possible so i'm gonna lure it this way then drop my king on it and also queen that way they can create a funnel and then pick it and then also we'll drop a baby dragon from the left hand side so that way it can clean down here while our heroes are taking out the golem which won't take too long now what i want to do is get rid of any wizard towers are higher level than normal so all of them are the same level in this base so i'm going to target just this side and while i'm targeting this side and popping the queen i'm actually going to drop a poison on top of her too and then with that she'll be slower when she actually targets our actual hoggers now the thing i want to do after that is then drop in of course our best thing which is of course the headhunters which will actually pop the queen so i don't have to worry about her and then we can heal up all of our hog riders when our hog riders get half health now usually when you use hog riders you want to keep an eye on their health that's gonna be the big thing because once their health gets really low they're pretty much all gonna die so you want to make sure they're only not halfway watch so they don't go below half and then you're pretty much good to go now i bring in pekkas and stuff like that so that way they can clean up anything that's left over so we can actually just start dropping them where i want them and if our heroes get if the heroes do target the pekkas will make it a lot easier to clean up that way too so what i'm gonna do here is actually heal up my hog riders right now because they're all half health and they're all near splash damage stuff and i'm gonna pick the stuff which is awesome and once the air defenses all get removed we can then use the baby dragons we have to actually help clean it up as well and that way we don't have to worry about that and all two of two times damage now you want to save your baby dragon just in case you already have one around the base and everywhere it's kind of covered then you can kind of just save that extra value as extra cleanup from maybe like the back right here you want to drop it over here it could pick up the clan castle it could pick up the town hall it can really pick off anything and you'll still have a ton of troops left over so if you want to use this attack strategy while you do this trophy push link down below to it absolutely recommend it's fantastic and now what we're gonna do is just drop in the rest of the chips because we want to make sure they have everything cleared on out that way we can get the most value and there we go we got our first win with of course our attack strategy so the next thing we need to do is do a montage of just grinding for one hour So we're on our last attack within the hour. My training potion is gonna finish up after this attack, so we need to get right into this. I only lost, lost one attack because some guy had E-Drag and I didn't take out a CC. So I E-Drag bopped all my troops, which was unfortunate. But for right now, let's focus up and actually take care of this base. What I'm gonna do first of all is actually check for CC with the Hog Rider. I didn't see the cannon on the actual left side here, so I'm actually gonna pop that. And how I'm gonna do is pretty straightforward. I'm actually gonna drop in a peck right here and then a baby drag on the opposite side. Then that way the Pekka will pop the bear act and go on to the cannon and then pop that next while the baby dragon should fly in and trigger the cc if there is anything yet there after it pops the gold mine so we'll see oh it didn't survive long enough to see but i'm not too worried and we'll drop in of course our hog rider no cc we're good so now we can do the following is of course we're going to drop in king and queen and then after that we're going to start dropping in in our troops Let's drop them in from, I think, about this side, maybe? Yeah, this side. We'll drop in from this side because there'll be less defenses for our headhunters to worry about. And then that way, we can also hit double the heroes with the poison. So we'll do that. We'll drop in, of course, our headhunters, which will go inward. Of course, going to rage, heal, and they should get the pick on both the king and queen from this. So they got the king pick, which is good. Next, they should take out the queen. They got the queen, which is awesome. And now we don't have to worry about CC nor heal the rest of attack. And while our hog go around the base and pick off stuff. So we're good. The only thing I need to worry about is high level uh, wizard towers. There's only one more left, but once we get it, we'll get the easy three star, which is going to be nice. And we can start cleaning up the rest of the base with our baby dragons. Like we use them for, we usually use them pick up town hall but we already got one on town hall we also got one on actually the dark elixir storage which is cool and now we can just use the rest of cleanup since there's no more air defenses left over and use our pack up for the same thing and finish on up 
so during this whole process of this hog rider attack strategy we gain over what is this so if we get 21 trophies from this and if i did the math earlier we got 191 trophies within the hour of the training potion than just an hour of sheer grinding which is absolutely insane and i tried to keep this as real as possible by not speeding up the heroes nor speeding up the clan cows or anything like that they give you kind of like a real worst situation if you just sweated for one hour which is kind of insane how much i could get in one hour i was hoping i could get the crystal leak from this but unfortunately that was not the case and i actually did not get the crystal leak we did get the gold one though which was pretty cool but unfortunately gold not gold crystal was just not in our reach we were literally so close from reaching that but you know we'll get it at some point i'm actually trying to get that uh league stall league all-star challenge the champion so we can do how to get your fifth builder for free so yeah get subscribed if you don't miss out on that but if you did enjoy today's video you did find it interesting make sure to smash the like button get subscribed and don't forget to check us on twitch because we do stream there of course every monday wednesday friday the link down below to our twitch channel way down there check out the merch if it's next to channel very much appreciated and until then i'll see you guys for another clash of clans video g-man out